Hello everyone, um, this is Science Hideout, and today I will be showing you how to make glacial acetic acid out of these few common chemicals. Vinegar, sodium bicarbonate, sodium bisulfate, and sodium acetate. The first thing that we'll need to do is make the sodium acetate. Now, as I explained, the first thing that we'll need to do is make some sodium acetate. The first step into which doing this is by taking a small lump of sodium bicarbonate and putting it in a beaker. After that, you're going to have to take your vinegar and just continue adding it until it doesn't produce carbon dioxide bubbles anymore. Add it slowly so it does not foam over. Okay, it doesn't seem to be foaming much anymore. So now that's clear that we have liquid sodium acetate. However, this is not very pure. So we're going to need to evaporate most of this. Okay, I have some apparatus assembled for evaporation. Now we're going to light our burner. Um, I'm going to put the wire gauze over it. And now here goes our... Um, sodium acetate. If you want to do this faster, you can take it and put it on this stove. However, I'm just going to do it here. You'll want to do this until it's yellow. It will be yellow just because of the impurities in this vinegar. However, it's nothing to worry about. Okay, a little bit later I got this. That's the authentic yellow color, and that's what we're looking for. So once you have that, you can extinguish the burner flame, and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so the burner flame is extinguished. Now you're going to have to get a watch glass like this. Okay. Um, now what you're going to have to do is, well first of all I need to wash my watch glass off because it has some previously made sodium acetate on that. But that's no problem. I'm just going to get a small petri dish or something. And I'm going to put it in here. Okay, now you're going to have to take this watch glass and just pour a little tiny bit of this on it. And then you're going to have to take this and put it in the microwave. So I'll go and put this in the microwave right now and I'll show you what it should look like when you take it out of the microwave. Okay, so here's what you're looking at. This came right out of the microwave. Um, the crystals can be lighter or darker. It all depends on certain ratios. Um, this is what it usually looks like, this kind of whitish crystal. However, for some reason this time it came out sort of yellowish. So next all you need to do is take this whole spooner's patchula. You can grind it up. I'm just going to put into this petri dish.
And that's our sodium acetate. Um, you can crush it up further from there. If you have a mortar and pestle, you can do that. Um, however, I'm just going to do it this way. It's a lot faster. Crush out all the large clumps because that we're going to have to weigh this. Okay, so I got my little um, scale out. We're going to turn it on. Now we're going to take the container that we're going to weigh it in. And um, we're going to tear it. So it automatically goes to zero. Now we're going to keep putting it on until we have two grams. So that's about three tenths of a gram right now. Um, there's 1.1, 1 1.4, 1 1 1 1.6, 1.8, 1.9, 2. Okay, so that's how much of our sodium acetate we're going to need about right here. Okay, now I just weighed out an equal amount of sodium bisulfate. This is 2 grams. Now the place to obtain sodium bisulfate is Thames and Cosmos. Most of their kits have this. Um, you can also go to the pool supply store. They sell it as pH down. So right here I have about 60 milliliters of water and I am going to add the sodium bisulfate. Let me just wash off my spoon here. And in it goes. So here's our sodium bisulfate solution. Let's just stir it until it's all dissolved. Um, so it's pretty clean now. Now the next thing to do is to place in our sodium acetate. Now sodium acetate doesn't really smell too good. Neither does sodium bisulfate. However, I do not recommend smelling sodium bisulfate. Um, however, when we mix them, you'll hear a slight fizzing sound, and it releases a lot of bubbles. Um, this is the key signal that we have acetic acid now. Um, and right when you mix these two things, you'll smell vinegar. However, it's very faint. That's another key signal that there's acetic acid in here. So I'll we'll want to mix this whole Petri dish, the, all the two grams. So we have an equal ratio of sodium bisulfate and sodium acetate. Okay, so that's about good. Now we'll have the solution. As you can see, it still has the impurities from when we had our vinegar. Again, this can this solution can vary in color as well. So we're going to want to distill this to make this. <laughs> 